Hey everyone, it's Leslie today. Um, normally I, I do go live on Tuesdays uh, for your Harris County Live, but this particular Tuesday, I am not going to be available, and so I'm off tomorrow, and this way I wanted to get the live in. Now, I could have recorded a video and then uploaded it, but I wanted to capitalize on uh, the amount of reach I get, free reach that I get when I do it live. So, welcome to your Harris County Live. And, you know, today is about flexing. My kids are home. That wasn't the plan, but one of their uh, older kids in a different area that they're in came down with COVID. So the school is sanitizing and doing a whole bunch of cleaning up or extra deep sanita uh, sanitizing or sanitization because um, of that uh, young student. So I hope that young student recovers well. My kids are fine. They, they've had a cold and they're getting over it. But um, so they're home today. So if you hear any noise in the background, it's my kids, or my oldest and my uh, youngest who may be making sound soon. So Welcome to the Your Harris County live show. And hello to um, those who are out there. Just wanted to big y'all up real quick. As you know, my name is Leslie Chapman and I serve the amazing people of Cyprus and Northwest Houston. So today I wanted to talk about remodeling versus moving. A few years ago, I had wanted something different for my home. We were there, we had been here for 10 years. Now it's I think 12 years something like that and I wanted to change something I know when you you know when you just get used to just being in your environment you're like I need a change what is it what is it I wanted to change the bathroom I wanted the paint colors changed I wanted trim done I wanted just like a whole work over it was either that or move something had to give and we opted to do a few of the updates because we realized we had been in the house for so long without kids. Now that we started to have kids, we were like, we haven't even maximized our space. So we weren't in a ready to move, but we just wanted to change. So we made some updates. So I'm sure you've seen that TV show where a family has totally outgrown their space, but one of the partners just doesn't want to leave. So they decide to renovate. If the renovations aren't fixing the issue, only then, then do they move. I'm exhausted just thinking about it, to be honest. And let's face it, reality TV isn't always real. Living in a, in a construction zone while shopping for a new house that you might not buy, mm -mm, no way. That's why I recommend doing one or the other. So let's break it down. A lot of times people get frustrated with their space. They've had another baby. They've fallen out of love with their condo or apartment or started dreaming of retiring, downsizing, maybe moving to the countryside or maybe near the closer to the beach. But whatever the reason, it's very important to first identify why you are considering a move and then go from there. So here are six things to think about. Number one, can it be fixed easily? If you want an updated kitchen, Swapping out fixtures, painting cabinets, and buying new appliances is a pretty easy fix. But if you want a bigger kitchen, you're going to have to move. Number two, can you deal with contractors? Hiring an interior designer or general contractor to manage your project will help. But renovations require you to work with multiple companies and contractors on a daily basis. Are you up to that task? You'll be dependent on their timeline, expertise, and quality of work. If you don't want people coming in and out of your home for weeks on end, it may be time to move into a turnkey home. Number three, can you live in a mess for a while? Renovations can be dusty and dirty and shrink an already hard to navigate environment. Tools will be everywhere. Is a renovation going to get in the way of school, work, or travel. And that's that's a key point to think about, especially in light of this uh, environment that we have where a lot of people are working remotely. If so, something turnkey may be more appealing. Number four, can you tolerate a move? You may, you may be like me. I actually dread the thought <laughs> of having to pack up my entire home, but let me pause for a minute. Son, I need you to keep it down, please. Okay. I know I dread the thought of having to pack up an entire home. While, so do you dread that while paying for a moving company thousands of dollars to pick up your 
antique heirloom armoire and try and make it through the front door without damaging it. If this sounds unbearable to you, it may be cause to stay. Noah, I get you love making a mess, but I need you to be quiet, okay? Thank you, son. Number five, do you love your location? If the view, zoning, corner lot, or amazing neighbors that you have are the reason for you that you moved to your current house to begin with, then moving may not be the answer. In this case, it would be better to renovate the inside of the home to match the amazing benefits of the outside of the home. So no matter what you decide, it's important to have a good realtor to help you understand how renovations will affect your home, your home value, and help you decide if you're better off packing up and moving to a new space. That's where I can help. Um, <laughs> that's, that's where I can help. I'm a little distracted by my little guy. Okay, Noah, 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 come here, baby. Come here, bub. Come here. I need you to keep it down. Can you do that? Yes, Mama. Say yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. All right. I need you to be quiet. No yelling. Let me finish. I'm almost done, okay? Yes. Say hello to the people. Hello. All right. Go on and go on and play quietly, okay? Yes. All right. Shh. Okay. Honestly, I can help you if you're considering, um, you know, wanting to make whether to make a decision whether you want to. Uh, renovate the home or move from your home. I can provide you a market analysis that will help you make an informed decision about uh, the, the, should you decide to renovate and sell at a later time. Or we can look at current days on markets for the homes in the range that you're looking to purchase so that if you want to go the route of purchasing, you can see what options are available for, for you and also get an understanding of the time frame that, that you can expect. So at this point, you may be convinced that you need some guidance around the area of renovating a current home versus moving to a new one. But you may also be thinking that you have no idea where to start. If you're thinking about making a move, I can help you through the process. Just send me a message or text me at 713-517-0271. I will repeat that, 713-517-0271. No pressure, no sales tactics, just the help and guidance that you need. Finally, if you are a resident of Cyprus and Northwest Houston, I want to let you know that you can view hot properties and featured communities at yourharriscounty.com. You can also follow me on IG and Facebook at Your Harris County. So uh, if there are any questions, you can leave them in the comments or if you have questions now, you can definitely comment now and I'm here to respond. And if not, I will answer comments after the live stream is over. And I'm gonna leave you with this because I've taught my kids how to say our phone number. So I'll just sing it. 713-517-0271. That's how you can get in touch with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if there are no other questions right now, again, leave them in the comments and I'll follow up after the live stream is over. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next episode. Ciao.